Hello everybody, my name is Bokusatsu and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today we're here to review a figure that I never thought I'll get because well for those who don't know this guy this guy had a controversy last year. Who oh boy. Let's just say that uh miscommunication has been miscommunication happened with Hasbro Pulse, with Hasbro in general, and that pissed off a lot of people including me, but uh, apparently Hasbro made to apparently Hasbro listen, look, apparently look like Hasbro listen to the criticism or the feedback they got, and uh, they put and they give a pre-order link to InSpace Silver on the Walgreens website. Oh, I'm sorry. Dino Thunder Silver. <laughs> if you want to know the whole controversy, there's like if you go on Toku Twitter or whatever, if you go if, if you go on Toku Twitter, type in Power Rangers Lightning Collection Space Silver, or find it on YouTube to find find the whole drama about that, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, back on saying, today we are here to review the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Silver. <coughs> oh, sorry, my bad. In Space Silver because Walgreens website said Dino Thunder Silver, and I don't and I don't know why they did that. <laughs> So, yes, I have Zane. I want to say this. I want to give. I want to say this. I want to say this. Hasbro, you made me happy because I was about to hunt y'all down over a figure. I wasn't going to do it by real. Just that was, that was just a joke. It wasn't a joke, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm finally happy that my in space team is finally complete because I love Zane. He's one of my favorite six rangers. I'm so happy that I finally have him. I took a lot of good pictures of him too. He's one of my favorite figures for this year. So we're gonna talk about him. Yeah. So, uh, how is he? Well, he Well, okay, this is just me, but uh His structure of the figure reminds me of Merrick's right here. They both act the exact same for like articulation wise and like praying around with both of them. I don't know why, but he gave me the exact same vibe as Merrick right here. That's, that's probably just me, so yeah. So back on saying, Zane, yes, the, the Sixth Ranger, you know, Andrew's best friend from KL35. <laughs> the man that flirted with Astronomer, his Andrew's sister, and and was being a little bit of a player to Ashley. I'm sorry, but he was. God damn. It's so cool to have this guy. All right, so... How is he? How is he? How is the figure in general? Well, <laughs> I'm fanboying a little bit for this doing this. Well, he's actually a really good figure. He has a few problems, yes, here and there, but I have I had like more positive than negative. And I can honestly see why last year a lot of people who bought this figure enjoyed it because it actually is a really good figure. Not gonna lie. So, the articulation. How is he? This is well. Just like every other standard, every other standard lane collection figure, that's more like what twenty bucks at piece. His articulation is normal, just like, just like other figures. See, I will say this. I don't know why, but it's this arm only that uh, it does not want to fully go in like this one. See, you have this arm. That that's going in normally, but we have this one, and uh, not going in full. That I don't know. I don't know why. What's up with that? Probably just, probably just my copy having probably, my, probably, probably just my copy having a QC issue with that. But uh, yeah. So how is he like for ab t for ab crunch? No, oh, this is how far he goes. <laughs> You're not supplied, are you? Cause again, twenty dollar figure right here. His legs go up to this far. I will say this, you can do like any pose with him, and yet, ooh, you can do like any pose with him, and yet, for some reason, he'll still look, he'll still look pretty cool from doing it, see? <laughs> yeah, Zane is a, you can definitely tell that I'm having too much fun with Zane over here. <laughs> yeah, boy. Alright. 
Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a lot to say. Actually, I will talk about this. This, this is my copy. So, do you remember when I said? Do you remember with my? Uh, remember what I said about my? I don't remember. I think I said this, but uh, I talked about my Dino Charge Green Review for the for Lightning Collection. Then uh, the figure has that that figure the Hasbro has a lazy way for drying paint yeah uh it happened here with Zane as well and I don't know what well I don't know what happened game plus is my copy but Hasbro you really got fixed you really got to make sure the paint dries for these weapons because my god that's one of the most annoying things for this line. Like, like, unpainted weapons. Ah, You really got, you really got to fix that Hasbro, because that's just disappointing. I'm just saying. Now, that's just saying. It's true, though. Disappointing. You got to fix that. <laughs> yeah, and then, this is the same company that milking the, milking the crap out of one franchise. Out of one season for no reason. Just saying. <laughs> Money morphing. So anyway, back on to the accessories. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my, my nose is a little bit stuffed, so it's also that. So, to get this out of the way. Sorry. So to get this out of the way. Here is the here is his, here is the face. Yeah, he looks just like him. <laughs> What's up with that smug face? <laughs> Honestly, this look honestly this look way better than though than the same face we got from the from the In Space 2 pack. We have his we have his silver saberizer in in saber mode, duh. Looking at it, it looks really well detailed. <laughs> Detail I said, okay. You can honestly see that the paint is not dry from here, sadly. Again, Hasbro, you gotta take care of that, cause that's just disappointing. <laughs> hey, in gun mode. And yeah, yeah, there's a little bit, yeah, there's a little bit of paint, uh, there's a little bit of paint washing off as well. All right. Here we have like a Holt hand he can use like he can use like for a fighting pose somewhat. And we have like one fisted hand. Honestly, the figures should come with two fisted hands, just saying. Because Hasbro, no offense, no offense, but uh if Marvel Legend can have like two regular hands for a Spider-Man figure, two like spot two like regular normal uh Spider-Man hands he he make for his reps, these type of hands. So what's stopping you guys from making two right, left, fisted hands for Power Ranger figures? Just saying. Because nothing's stopping you. You're just being cheap at this point. And here we have... Oh, this effect. Eh, it's alright. I, I don't have any use for it. So, next, uh, next, we're, next we're gonna do size comparison! Yay! Alright, so... Just because, so just because he's just because he's a six ranger. We're gonna compare him. With, we're gonna compare him to a few other six rangers. So we have Merrick. We have Decker Break right here. All right. Nope. <laughs> we have Abba Killer. Oh, I'll fix it. And yeah, that looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Frillo, Frillo, that looks so good right there. <coughs> Four of my favorite. Alright, I'll be on. Alright, I got a little bit of a hot take. I'm not a big fan of Mega Ranger and SPD. I think Shadow Ranger is the true Six Ranger of SPD, but that's just my opinion. But, uh, 
four of my favorite six rangers in Sentai. We got Decca Break, Abba Killer, Mega Silver, Gal Silver. I, f I love it. I actually love it. Also, <laughs> Dino Thunder, Dino Thunder Silver. Ha ha. So here he is with uh, Real Soul Red. And here he is with uh, Zenkaiser. Oh, hold on, let me uh, fix this. Okay, that's it. All right, here's here he is with Shadow Moon. That's right, the Moon of Shadows. <laughs> here he is with uh, Evil, which I reviewed last week. I want to say last week, but the last review I did was on Evil. I still love this emo bad boy. Do 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 do. All right. And here he is with the SA Figures Comrade Hirobi. Still crazy that still crazy that I have Hirobi in my collection. Just saying. But uh yeah. He's <laughs> they're all tall there. Well except for Shadow Moon, but still. But uh yeah. But uh yeah. Uh, Zane's a really good figure. I will say this, he is a Walgreens exclusive. And again, after you cut, after like you've been caught up with the whole controversy with the figure last year, everyone and their mama wants him. When I saw, when I saw Lightning Fig PR, uh, put a link up, uh, when I saw Lightning Fig PR tweeted that, hey, uh, guys, Zane, Zane PR is a fan of Walgreens. I ran in there, made a Walgreens account. And bought one, and I'm happy I did. I was nervous, thought I was nervous and thought that this figure was going to be down on the blue or something. Nah, nah, because the description it had Ethan's description for the figure on Walgreens website, but nah, but yeah. But anyway, I'm finally happy that I have Zane, and god damn it, he's actually one of my favorite figures. Uh, he's actually my favorite. One of my favorite figures for 2022. Yes, Zane will be join. Zane will be joining the 2022 list this year because, god damn it, this figure is so fucking good to play around with. <laughs> I hope. I really do hope that everyone gets. I really do hope everyone gets there, get one one day because this guy's so fun to play with. So yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. My. My name is Boku. Please like, comment, subscribe, and post my notifications on for all my future video. And follow all my follow all my social media in the description because well, there's all of that. And like the next video, I think it'll be gonna be a Dragon Ball video, I have, or a podcast review, which will be on Hurricane. But don't worry, I will get I will do Hurricane soon. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just resting now because well. I've been watching Toku. I've been watching Toku past like what, three like, like what three weeks in a row for like my podcast. So yeah, I'm taking a little bit of a break. So yeah, also that. So yeah, hope hope you all liked the video. Enjoy the picture. My name's Goku, and I, and I uh, have a nice day. I'm out.